Today we've been given access to tour this incredible restoration project. It's been transformed from a small 17th century property to a beautiful modern home filled with light and luxury. Welcome to the Woodbury. Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm Jordan. And we're the owners of the Woodbury. We were on holiday at the time and we basically arranged a viewing for on our way back from the airport. It was in lockdown, we weren't allowed to see it in the actual house. So we came and looked around the gardens, we were like, yeah, we'll have it. After a few offers, it got declined. Yeah. Back as important. But it'd been in the lady's family for, what was it, 100 years? Yes, we had a battle on our hands. Yeah, but she was lovely. <laughs> We're in the Cotswolds Castle Coombe, a very famous village known for hosting films such as Stardust, which is one of my personal favorites, and Steven Spielberg's War Horse. Now, let me break this episode down a bit. Firstly, we're gonna take you inside the main property just behind me. We're also gonna show you the incredible outdoor areas where we have the most beautiful outdoor pool I've ever seen. We're also gonna take you into the outbuildings surrounding it. And then finally, at nighttime, we're gonna give you a little little show around of what it looks like then. But here at the exterior of the property, we have this huge driveway, which you can access via electric gates at the front, keeping the property nice and secure. Like I said, we have tons of space here for parking, but we also have a carport with even more space. And above that is an annex. You've got plenty of lawn space around. So if you stay tuned, you'll actually hear what the owners, Phoebe and Jordan are gonna do with that because there's an incredible project going on. But let's have a look at the front of the property. How just mind-blowing does that look? I love that wood cladding. It kind of reminds me of Dan and Nina's house in a way, you know, yes. in Chichester. Yeah, we'll pop that up on the screen so you guys can go check that out. But at the back, you can't see it from here, but you can see the original house. We'll talk a little bit more about the whole restoration process as we make our way through the house. But Tom, are you ready to go inside? Of course I am, let's do it. I am too, because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. The house design, we used an architect that we've used previously called White Box Architects. They're based in Bath. Very good. The owner of the company is actually a friend of ours. Got the planning application in fairly quickly. We didn't have any objections on the house. We had to make one small amendment to get it through planning, and that was the colour of the wood. We had it as a dark wood, and the planning officer wanted it as a more light, natural colour, which we were a little bit opposed to at first, but then actually the more we started yeah. looking... It was, it was the, a good choice to it, change it. Yeah, it was the right choice. Yeah. Come on in, Tom. You actually wouldn't get in here without me because it's fingerprint recognition to get inside. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> but here we are in the entrance hall. We have the Hike Vision Smart System throughout the home. And here we have the beautiful light wooden wide plank flooring, which kind of flows all the way throughout. But we're gonna head into here first. So we've got black crittle doors all the way throughout, which are stunning. Come in here, Tom, you're gonna love this room. Wow, the sun. They call it the Sundowners Lounge, is that right? Yeah, well, you can see why. The sun's coming down now and it's just flooding the room. I know, exactly. And we've got a really nice array of materials throughout here. You've got the boucle seats and you've got the artwork as well in that checked pattern, which reflects the cushions there. And we also have a beautiful circular mirror, which matches the speaker as well, Tom. Yeah, a bit of a circular motif through yeah, here, isn't there? definitely. We actually saw one of these speakers in Dubai, in Villa Terra as well. And this light is pretty impressive as yeah. well. Can't just glance past that. It's a Bang & Olufsen speaker, That's it, I believe. Bang I don't know about the light, though. They're very loud, these. <laughs> yes. Very loud. Over on this side, we have the custom-made bar. Now, we've got this beautiful marble with the mirrored backing, beautiful lightwood shelves. And you'll see these cabinets as well in the kitchen. And I really love them, as well as the gold fixtures. Now, this coffee machine here might look impressive, but no one knows how to work it. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get it working. We really couldn't, but at least it looks good. Isn't that right? That's right. We also have a sink here, and I love how the marble flows into there. And we've got storage here for some wine. But then on this side, we have the huge wine cooler. So this was actually built here as well, I believe. Yeah, I think it was SJB site. Carpentry that helped out with loads of the woodwork, yeah. joinery stuff. So many people involved in these projects. Yes. We're going to try our best. We will try our best. Bear with us, guys. There's a lot of names. But before we move on, Tom, we also have the fridge drawers underneath. Oh, nice. Yeah. But any them. cans and stuff. Cans and bottles, all of that. Cans and bottles. Let's make our way into the kitchen. This is my absolute favourite space throughout the home. We've got this beautiful double aspect glazing on this side 
makes the room look like it's overhanging almost if it wasn't for this. Yeah, I know pillar. what you mean, especially when you open all of these doors out. Yeah, exactly. And you've got access straight up to the swimming pool. Oh, Can yeah. Sneak preview. Sneak preview, because we're going to show you that in the dark later. So don't yeah. worry. Not quite in the dark. There'll be Not some light. At dusk. <laughs> yeah. So here we have our dining table. Tom and I were speaking earlier how we really love the mixture of materials throughout here. You've got that wicker style on the chairs, which kind of pays tribute to the cottagey heritage of the home, yeah. essentially. We've got the skylight above, so even more light coming down. And speaking of lights. Yeah. In case you're wondering, Jazz isn't just vandalizing the house. They are <laughs> supposed to do that. I know, you can just take them out the wall. Look, I can put it back as well. Put it back wherever you want. Same with the LED strip lights that you see. If you can reach. Ah, and she's made it. Uh, Love it. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> now, over here, let's make our way through into the kitchen. We have this beautiful waterfall marble island. On this side, we have the wood panelling below and these really nice bar stools. Now, let me demonstrate something for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice and soft on the bottom. Nice and soft. No squeakiness. No scratching. We, no scratching, board, exactly. And we've got the bum indentations, which Tom and I love. Yes, makes for a more comfortable breakfast. Definitely. Okay. Now, over on this side, we have our double fridge freezer. And then let's talk about down here because we have the most stunning oven I've ever seen. I love how the gold matches all the different hardware throughout, like the cooker tap here. Beautiful. It's a huge sink as well. And then you've got the ambient lighting throughout, the marble splashback, and the extractor fan hidden just here too. Lovely. And here, Tom, if you come and look, we have a pantry where you can keep, you know, your clutter, almost like microwaves, kettles and stuff, nicely hidden away. Yeah. We also have two dishwashers throughout here, which is a really handy feature. Absolutely. But Tom, over here is the most beautiful staircase ever. I really love the curved design, and Phoebe was telling us how much she wanted a curved staircase and how hard it was to find someone who would just create this beautiful piece for her. And she might, she managed to finally do it with Tim Parker, who was their builder. So shout out to Tim for making Phoebe's staircase dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> but let me take a few steps up actually. You can see the lime wash paint and it's in this beautiful color called Bone by Bow Works. And you can see this all throughout the house and Phoebe was saying that the painter actually did the whole house in this lime wash, so. Shout out to Phil. Shout out to Phil, yeah, <laughs> well done for that. And then above, you've got this incredible statement light, which is called Overlay by Floss Lighting. Overlap. Overlap Floss. by Floss. <laughs> by Floss Lighting, yeah, I was, I was close enough. And that looks really stunning. I'm gonna make my way down, because I wanna show you this little room here. So we actually have a WC under the stairs which was quite hard to fit in here. If I head on in, we have a fluffy Mona Lisa, which is really funny. Which you've just got to touch. <laughs> yeah, I know, you can't not. It's a bit weird that she doesn't have a face though. Fluffy. Ooh. And we also have this Calicutta Viola sink throughout here, which is a really nice statement piece. We actually saw this not too long ago in interior designer Sophie Patterson's house. So we're gonna put that link up in the corner of the screen for you to watch if you're interested. And I love how they've clad the walls in all of the wood as well. It gives yeah. that real addition hotel vibe. Yeah, so it's by a company called Trunk and it's actually flooring and they're very well known for their design throughout luxury yachts as obviously this is something you would kind of ah, see yeah. in a yacht. Yeah. Nice. And check out this curved archway. Yeah, I love the archways, all the curved walls. It's definitely giving me like a Greek vibe. It was actually like a string of holidays, to be honest, wasn't it? We quite like like Mediterranean vibes. Um, we, we liked Mykonos and that sort of thing vibe so we thought yeah let's try and make it sort of a bit like that so we're losing lots of natural wood not natural materials and things like that i can't actually take any credit for the uh for the interiors he was banned from the inside yeah. i did the garden this snug at the back of the house is actually the original house so it was from around 220 years ago and i love how phoebe and jordan have really kept a lot of those traditional features such as the fireplace here with some of the original materials like the stone and you've got the brick we've got the window seats and a lot of different textures throughout here as well i love how the carpet is very traditional traditional yeah it kind of fits in with that cottage theme 
so do the beams above and yeah. it also follows as you leave the room because you've got a lot of curved walls in that hallway. Yeah, sure. Which is a really nice addition. And then also the TV in here looks like a photo frame. Yeah. And I really love that. They're kind of sticking with that more old school vibe in here. Yeah, nice. It's very cozy. One of the best things in my opinion about this room, Jazz, has got to be the lighting. It definitely makes a difference. Yeah, 100%. You've got the strip lighting behind you and then you also have the these original cascade wall lights, they're called by Fosbury Studios. And I really love how They've yeah, it's like a fabric, fabric material. Yeah. Part of these tours, guys, if you don't already know, is that Jazz has to just feel everything. Yeah, touch learner. Kinetic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next room I want to take you in is on the other side of the property and it is the utility slash boot room. Now the vibe definitely switches throughout here. It's a lot darker and you've got this beautiful cabinetry and you've also got the wood panelling on the ceiling, which I love plenty of storage and we've got this brick flooring which kind of eases that transition from inside to outside. The, uh, in case you're wondering. Oh, the... here are the washing machines. Yes, Ooh. one and <laughs> two. Two down there. Needed. Mm -hmm. I like the ball lights as well. They're from- They're um, like magical orbs almost. They're from Jay and Adams. Oh, there you go. This is not an ad. Come on out, Tom. <laughs> Now, just like everyone we... to be able to find everything. Yeah, exactly. Before we move on down the hallway, I just want to point out this beautiful um, window here. It's kind of like a picture frame window. You've got that maple outside, which is turning red now as autumn comes by. We've got the exposed brick throughout here and also the beam above, which is a really nice addition. Another skylight above here. And we also have this very striking artwork by a French artist called Celille Plaisance. But it's a really interesting concept and it's all about... Breaking social norms, essentially, yeah. isn't it? And going against the grain. Definitely. And if you can't tell, it's one of those photos that yeah, like it's, change. it's lenticular. Yes. Oh, so it's like is that what it's called? Two different Im images underneath a lens. Word so of the cool day. you get visual effects like 3D. And in this case, yeah, the sort of holographic changing image. Wow. Yeah. That, you learn something new every day. Well, Didn't you know, know when you're with that. me. Yeah, okay. Weird flex. <laughs> Now, this is Jordan's study slash office space. Very different vibe in here. Once again, to the rest of the house, and you've got the dark purple on the ceiling and the walls, which really contrasts nicely this marble on the countertop. You've got the desk placed in the middle. Now, one of the coolest parts about this room are actually the speakers. Now, come over here, Tom. Can you see them? So, you, look how I mean, small no. it is. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Tiny. So, so they actually went to the Newt Hotel and they had these speakers and Jordan played like a song on them earlier and Tom and I were blown away by the quality of these speakers. By Kate Array. Kate Array, that's the name, yeah, well done. Really, really, almost like a little CIA yeah. bug, like a mic. Yeah. Definitely, I feel like I need to watch that like detect <laughs> yeah, all the them. different yeah. <laughs> things in here. But yeah, so great room and you've got access out to a patio area and pond just here. But I can really imagine just Jordan sat here working and appreciating all the hard work that's gone into building this house. With the house, obviously being so old, the roof was a nightmare because Cotswold stone roofing tiles and they're so heavy, they're so old and they're just really expensive. So when we extended the house, we obviously needed more and we took them off and they broke and things like that. So we had to drive around Facebook Marketplace, eBay, literally picking these tiles up and trying to make it work. And it was a nightmare because we were battling against the weather and no one had any that they could in the reclamation yard. So that was, for me, that was a headache, a big headache with yeah. part of the build. Mine was windows, um, kitchen. It was pretty much everything, to be honest. Like, I think because the house was that much older and it was that much like of a restoration project, there was just so many moving pieces to the house and so many things that you have to like research, look into things we hadn't really come across before. Every single thing was a learning curve a struggle, but then when it was done, we were like, okay, that's done now. We can, we know about that. We can add that to our knowledge belt. I'm now going to take you into the principal bedroom suite first, but take a moment to appreciate this landing because you've got the window there. So light floods in and you've got all these beams. It's pretty stunning. That look beautiful. They actually bought all of these out themselves, didn't they? Yeah. The roof was a big issue when they were building this house, but... Wow, the sun that floods in there. This is cool. How stunning is this? You've got all the windows here that you can see from the front of the property. This is really a master bedroom, don't you? Yeah, think? absolutely. You've got the TV here in the wall, and you've got all this inbuilt storage. Like, how much is it covered up here? <laughs> see? Yeah. Need a ladder. But come on through into the ensuite. I love how it's framed by the marble and very minimalistic again in here. It kind of looks like 
cement on the walls. Yeah. It's really, really lovely. Awesome and you, textures. Definitely. And it runs on the floor as well. And you've got the walk-in shower, ambient lighting, and then also the nice twin basins. I love how small the doors are because when you go in and out of the rooms, it kind of makes it feel more hidden. Yeah. You're in a sun trap right now, Jazz. It's like golden hour. Thank you. <laughs> okay, should we go into this room next? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So as you walk in, you've got the storage, which has the automatic lighting. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry in the clothes then. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have our next bedroom. I love the bed with the kind of like posters and you've got a really interesting light above and obviously this yeah, Juliet balcony. Out. Should I open it up? If you can. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Ah. Look, you can see a vegetable garden. We're actually going to go check out that outbuilding because it's an Airbnb and it's really nice. So just you wait. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Mm -hmm. Let me close these up. Let's go. <laughs> I like how up here you can really see the lime wash paint as well. Yeah, it's like, a great shot of those lights too. I know. Such an impressive landing. Oh, I just touched it again. <laughs> okay, now come on into this bathroom. We've got the beautiful stone tub here, the basin, and you've got incredible ceiling heights throughout here. It makes the room feel a lot bigger. And I love the light casting the shadows, the up lighting yeah. here on it's that incredible. stone. Nice choice as well with the yeah. white ceiling planks. Yes, yeah, I agree. And you've got the nice marble tiles behind beautiful. the shower. Next room. I have a slightly smaller bedroom, but it's still very cozy. And you've got the window seats on either side, which is a really nice addition, as well as loads of inbuilt storage and a desk area. Yeah, perfect kid's bedroom. Definitely. Now that we've shown you inside the main property, it's time to go explore outside. It's time to venture outside where Phoebe and Jordan have embarked on a brand new project, which is why this plot of land was so valuable to them. With the property, we're going to do it sort of phase one and phase two. So the main house has been phase one, which is now completed. Phase two is the outbuildings, which we obtained planning for last year to convert the eight outbuildings into eight holiday lets. And we're going to build a mini wellness kind of retreat in a sort of small group of buildings that can be shared and enjoyed with the outbuildings. We didn't expect it. We spoke to all the neighbours, we told them the plans, they were all OK, and then, yeah, they... You got, like, obliterated by the whole village. <laughs> yeah, then, then they, they get... Some of them were OK, just to give credit to a couple of them. Yeah. And then there was two, and they really didn't... They were really opposed to the conversion of the outbuildings. Speaking of Airbnbs, we actually have one at the back of the garden. Tom, should we head on over there? That's it. So we have this small Airbnb at the back that's in the style of an old trailer. Do you want to come inside? Oh, yeah. OK, come on in. So Jordan's business is actually designing and creating these Airbnbs. How cool is that? That is cool. So we have the bed through here, and you have a skylight above, so you can watch the stars at night. You also have a whole kitchen, a log burner. And Tom, we'll peek through quickly. And take a look at the bathroom. You've got the shower in there as well. Wow. I know. Wait, can we see that bed again? How cozy. Wee. That's cool. I love these things. I match it with my boucle. <laughs> Let's head on out. We're making our way through the kitchen garden now. We've got lots of different planters. Look how stunning the house looks from the back, Tom. You can really see the original building. So this is the patio area you can see from the study and from the Juliet balcony. You've got a lovely water feature here with the fountains coming out and that house looks incredible. You'll see as we go around the garden, all the up lighting on the plants, etc. It looks stunning. And around this corner, you can see the maple tree and it looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this pot. Sorry. Tom's just jumped over the pond. I didn't jump, <laughs> I <a> stepped. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the original building, Tom, I said about in the at the start. Yeah. Oh, we can go around this way, Tom. Yeah, let's go this way instead. Oh, OK. There's the maple tree. Oh, that looks cool. I love that... the up lighting on the trees. Oh, you... Wait till you see the olive trees, Tom. Olive tree? Yeah. OK, we've gone some back route. OK, there's a gate Ooh. here. OK, gate. Gay no, gate? Olive tree. I said OK. Oh. <laughs> so you have all this outdoor furniture as long as well as like the herringbone pattern flooring. Yeah, I love those pictures. They really separate the tiles up, yeah. make uh, the spaces a little bit more separate. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And I love how big the tiles are as well. But we have this outdoor kitchen area. Once again, you've got the lighting. We've got a log store, you even have a fridge Ooh. filled to the brim of Coca-Cola. 
can I have a, can I have a beer? Yeah, sure. Nice one, Jess. Thanks. There you go. Drinking on the job, it's fine. <laughs> but we've got our pizza oven out here as well as barbecue and sink. We've even got the fire pit outside here and that's one of the great things about this garden is that you can use it all year round. We had a good idea of what we wanted it to be like. So garden was actually designed by a guy called Matt Knightley from Rose, Rosebank. Um, yeah. yeah, he was brilliant and he was the first time we used him. But We basically were like Tim, right, Matt, we want to do like Ibiza, Mykonos smashed together and he was like in the Cotswolds, we were like, yeah. So he was like, okay, leave it with me. And he just came back and we were like, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. We absolutely love socialising and obviously being kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's important for us to have friends that can come and stay and things like that. So we wanted to create a garden that we could use with friends, have outdoor cooking and things like that. So that's why we wanted to be able to use it all year round. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the pool. Whoa. Stunning. Especially, Especially at this, at this time. time. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. jinx. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the Mandarin fingerstone tiles that kind of outline the pool, and it's apparently very deep. Phoebe and Jordan said that they wish they hadn't made it that deep, which is very interesting. That's never a problem I've heard for a pool. No, especially if you want to do a really good bomb in there, you know? Don't yeah. want to be hitting the ground, but it's actually heated as well. Oh, yeah. wait. On that note, should I feel how warm it is? Yeah, go for it. I imagine it's heated, but not so hot that you're going to be like, oh, warm. Oh, but it's nice, though. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a dip? No, I got a cold hand now though. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> We've got the underlighting here. That just, looks really cool. Yeah. Look at that tree. It's just there like. What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> nice. But come on back. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Okay. Well, not that it's not interesting. Yeah, but... it's pretty interesting, right? <laughs> So you have this seating area up here. Now, this is one of my favourite spots. You've got these really rustic kind of wicker style lights hanging. That matches the, uh, the thatched roof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so which way do you want to go first, Tom? I think let's go in okay. there quick. I'm left, I should say. My right. <laughs> Our right. It's only your left. So at the back here, we have a gym. Now, ooh, How it is, is this? a million degrees in here. And yeah. look, drinks fridge. Yeah, and a perfect view out to the pool, which is always a benefit when you're on your treadmill. But, um... It feels a bit like a sauna in here. Yes, it's warm. I love the um, cladding. I've just got my drink so that we can, you can have your beer and I can have my water together. Cheers. <laughs> Come across into the sauna. Okay, so we actually have a More than bathroom. A sauna. <laughs> yeah, so you have a shower through here. You've got the nice frosted glass toilet and then the sauna. The sauna. Amazing. I'm going to go in. So this time of year, wow. you know, you're in the sauna for a while, you come out, you're boiling yeah. hot, have a dip in the heated pool, so it yeah. wouldn't be that cold. It's not like cold therapy, but definitely incredible. Put it down. Sorry, it looked like a dinosaur egg. Oh, God. <laughs> but do you know what I think about this whole house and the outside space is that it's really, it feels like a ski chalet in a way. Yeah, it's Jane. probably all of the wood. It's like yeah. that kind of Scandinavian influence that comes into definitely. a lot of properties nowadays. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely. And incredible, we've yeah. got the annex above the carport. And above there, it has a really gorgeous lounge space, bedroom and bathroom. And it really just reflects the inside of the main property, I think. The standard of living just continues all the way throughout this property. Yeah, I think and as a guest, yeah. it's a pretty cool place to stay. Exactly. And that's why it is probably my favourite home on the channel. I have to say, I might agree with you. This yeah. is stunning. This is my dream. I won't lie. Yeah. So. If you want to see my dream come true, make sure you subscribe and you like this video and we'll see you in the next one. He's like, yeah, I'll just get him warmed up. I'll just get him warmed up. Yeah, Lessa. <laughs> Call their names out. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> from number. Yeah, stop it now. All right, okay. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. Boing.